What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a sloped ceiling in Revit. So when it comes to working in Revit and using ceilings, it's really useful, it's a really useful tool, it's an important part of the whole building and it allows you to host some ceiling hosted lights uh, which is also really important. So uh, in this tutorial I thought it would be uh, important to cover the topic of how to create ceilings that are sloped. So sometimes you have uh, let's say a roof that is of course sloped and then you want to have a vaulted ceiling, a ceiling that follows the uh, kind of the slope of that roof uh, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you exactly how can you achieve something like that and then later on I'm going to be showing you uh, when you figure out that we can create uh, sloped ceilings what are some of the cool types of kind of chambered uh, sloped ceilings that we can create uh, using the ceiling tool so that's the topic of today's uh, tutorial now before I get into that I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and also make sure to subscribe I make useful Revit tutorials each week I make multiple tutorials and then also if you're interested in making taking a more in-depth uh, look into Revit and if you would like to uh, learn a bit more I actually create courses a beginner intermediate as well as uh, advanced courses for numerous Revit topics they're all available available on my website balkanarctic.com you can find it as the first link in the description so just below the the video uh, the second link in the description takes you to my patreon there you can find all of my Revit project files over 400 files so far as well as some of my uh, advanced courses as well okay so with that out of the way let's get straight into the tutorial okay and here we are in Revit so let's immediately get started by going here to create a new model and for the template file I'm just going to be using my personal Balkan Arctic template the metric version you can find both the metric and imperial versions by following the third link in the description so let's just click OK and open that up and as soon as Revit opens up, we're just going to be placing uh, a few simple walls here. So let's just go here to the wall tool. Uh, let's use the generic 400 millimeter type and let's create a simple rectangle uh, just like this. There we go. We can maybe extend it a little bit. Perfect. Okay, so once we have this, let's move then to level two. And then here on level two, I'm going to be creating a roof. So let's go to roof by footprint. And I'm just going to check that. And we have this option where we can pick walls. So you can just go like this. And if you hit the tab key, it's going to select a whole chain of walls. So that means that all walls will be selected. You just click once and you're pretty much done. Uh, now in this particular case, uh, here, as you can see on all sides, we have this little triangle, which is in indicating that this uh basically this line uh, defines slope and here we can see the actual slope and what I'm just going to do in this case is select both of these so the top and the bottom one and I'm going to uncheck define the slope so once I uncheck that as you can see only the sides will uh, define the slope so when I hit finish uh, we're going to get the kind of Revit uh, uh, prompting us or asking us would we like to attach the walls up to the roof and in this case yeah that's exactly what we want so I'm just going to click yes Yes, there we go, perfect. So now if we move to the 3D view, this is what we have. So we have a perfectly nice house uh, and we have a perfectly nice uh, roof. Now uh, let's uh, go into level one and I'm just going to be placing a section through this house. So just go here to the section tool, click once, extend, click once again, Perfect. To open up a section, you can find it here in the project browser, or you can go here to the section head. As you can see, it's blue, so that means it's a clickable, like a hyperlink. So if you just double click there, it's going to open up that section. So for this section, what you want to do is now see where the ceiling is going to be placed. Now we haven't placed a ceiling yet. So uh, what we need to do then uh, is first uh, go to the ceiling plan here, uh, level one, now, uh, you're placing a ceiling at level 1 that basically means above level 1. So a ceiling that's going to be above uh, level 1. And then once you come in here, uh, you can place your ceiling. Now, I just like to go here to ceiling. Uh, you have a couple of options, automatic ceiling or uh, sketch ceiling. Now, in this case, uh, we can use the automatic ceiling. Basically, what it does is once you click, it's just going to place a ceiling there. So if you hit the escape key a couple of times and open up the section again, 
there should be a ceiling here. There we go. Now, this ceiling uh, is looks just like a simple line, and the reason for that is because this is the basic generic ceiling. So if you select it here in the properties panel, it says basic ceiling, generic, and if you open up the drop menu, you have a couple of different options. I like to use the plain one. Uh, it's just going to, well, not have any panels, and it's also uh, just going to be uh, just going to have some thickness. You can adjust that thickness by going here into edit type and then here into structure and then here you can play around with all of the layers. As you can see we have the metal stud layer as well as the gypsum uh, wall board uh, finish layer on the bottom. So let's just cancel out of that and now let's talk about how can we get the ceiling to be sloped and follow the angle of this roof. So uh, let's go into edit boundary and when we do that uh, it's going to give us this menu where it says go to view and of course we cannot see the boundary of this ceiling in the section view so we have to open up one of the plan views. Uh, the reflected ceiling plan level 1 makes the most sense because that's where this, uh, this will be seen. So let's open that up. And now here, what I'm going to do is just select one of these. And as you can see here, it has the option to define slope. So basically, just like that roof, we can select this, check the define the slope. And as you can see, it's going to add that slope. Now by default, it's going to go with something weird like this 4.76 degrees. And the roof is if I remember correctly, 30 degrees, so we can change the slope here in the properties, or just by clicking here next to the line on that number, type in 30. Perfect. Now we want to do the same thing on the other side. So when we select the other side and go here to check the find slope, we can define the slope, add that same 30 degree angle, hit enter, hit finish, and we have an error message, of course. So uh, basically what Revit is going to tell us at this moment is that there is more than one slope defined. So Revit is not going to allow you to create a sloped ceiling if uh, if you have uh, two uh, slopes defined. So it's only going to allow you to create a sloped ceiling in one direction. So only one slope line will do the job. So let's uh, just go with continue. We have to select this and then uncheck define slope. And what I'm going to do is just move this line and actually I want to find the middle. So uh, for finding the middle, it can be a bit difficult. So what they like to do is go to a new line, uh, maybe go like this. There we go, hit the escape key a couple of times. With a new line, you can always kind of find that middle by finding the triangle, that's the midpoint. Now we can just delete this one and then use trim and extend to fix this up a little bit. Just like that, hit finish, and there we go. Now, if I open up the uh, section view, it's going to look like this. So we have that sloped ceiling. Uh, also, we can play around f with the height offset. It's currently at 2.6 meters, so we can bring that up, maybe three meters. There we go, maybe even 3.4. Yeah, looks perfect. Okay, so once we select this, we can go back into level one. And then here, it's as simple as just selecting this and then going here to the modify tab, and then using the mirror tool with the pick access option, click in the middle, and you're done. So now if we open up the section view, as you can see, it's going to mirror and copy that ceiling to the other side. And now we have a, a sloped ceiling above or uh, below, actually below our roof. Now, one important thing that I would like to note when it comes to working with ceilings uh, like this, it's going to be a bit difficult to host lights on this ceiling. So if I go back into the reflected, let's see, yeah, reflected ceiling plan for level one. And if I go here to insert, uh, load family, let's search for something like, let's see, uh, I'm going to search for lights. There we go, lighting, architectural, internal. Here we have some ceiling lights. As you can see, we have many different options. Uh, let's see, what else do we have for ceiling lights? Yeah, I guess this is it. So let's use the flat round light, open that up. And let's now go to architecture to component. And now we can, oops, if we only find that light, let's see where the light is. Here we go, ceiling light. Okay, so I'm going to select this one, for example, and now I can place it here on the ceiling. So if I click, 
Uh, this isn't uh, visible in the reflected ceiling plan, that's okay. If we open up the section, now we can see that light, and the light is going to look like this. So there's uh, this is just something to note. Uh, if you're going to be using some ceiling lights on uh, on this ceiling, it's going to kind of go vertically down, and it's going to look odd. So uh, if you want to use lights, uh, the best option would be to use some uh, face-based lights for these types of ceiling. And if you would be interested in a tutorial such as that one, I will be happy to create it. Just make sure to leave a comment asking for that in the comment section below. Now, this uh, whole uh, idea with having ceilings such as this, having these sloped ceilings, uh, kind of got me to idea, well, what, what can we do with, the, uh, with this uh, new sloped ceiling that we have found out about? So I'm going to go here into, let's go to the 3D view, I'm going to select the roof, uh, hover over one of the walls and hit the tab key, which is going to kind of highlight the whole chain, hold the control key to add the whole chain to selection, and then I'm just going to copy this off to the side, like this. Now let's go into level 1, and here this one is the, the new one, and what I'm going to do here, uh, this is, keep in mind that this is the reflected ceiling plan that I have opened up now, there we go. So what I'm going, what I'm going to do here uh, is just go here to grid lines and let's find the middle here. There we go. Find the middle. And then oh, let's see. Let's add a new one here, new one here. So for this, we just want to kind of adjust the wetness lines to make these two equal, just like that. Same thing with this one. Just find the, the little wetness line control, move it to the center make that equal, perfect. And then also we can add some here, so find the middle, just like that, and then we can add, let's see if we can, can we fit a couple of more here? Yes, we can, there we go, perfect. Uh, so let's see, what's the, what's the whole distance? If I select this all the way to the other side, that's like four meters. Okay, that's not going to work uh, with the, the, the math. Let's see, uh, the distance between these two is eight, so we can simply divide that by two meters. So maybe we can just go like that. This one can be, let's select this one, move the blue wetness line here, two meters. And then this one, I don't know, two meters. Perfect. Okay, so here we have uh, some sort of a division into these little boxes. Of course, you can add more elements if you want. Uh, you can divide this even further if necessary. Uh, but for now, let's just leave it like this. And now we can play around with our sloped ceiling. So if you go here to the ceiling tool, let's go with uh, a sketch ceiling. What I'm going to do is create one line like that find the line that's in the middle, then find the kind of the midpoint of that, go to this here intersection, go from there to this here intersection, and then just close this off like that. Perfect. Okay, I want to select this now and add a defined slope, and let's add a slope of 10, uh, 10 degrees. Uh, let's go with, uh, let's go with 25. That might be a bit steeper. There we go. Perfect. Hit finish. This is what you get. Uh, next, I want to mirror this, so I'm going to use the mirror with the draw axis option. Make sure that copy is selected, and you just want to mirror it like this. You click, draw the line vertically, and then you mirror it to the other side. Uh, next, uh, we can go again to the ceiling tool, sketch ceiling, and in this case, again, use lines. I'm going to go just like this. Perfect. Select this line. Let's again go to define slope. Add a 25 degree slope. Perfect. Hit finish. Uh, go to the mirror option uh, with the draw axis and then go from the middle horizontally and that's going to mirror that ceiling. Perfect. So we have kind of like one component for uh, this whole room and then we can just copy this. So go to copy, check multiple and then you can copy the whole thing uh, multiple times. So you can just go like that all the way. Uh, okay, th there was probably a more efficient way to copy this, but there is not that many, so we can finish like this. Perfect. Okay, so once we have this cool uh, looking ceiling, now let's check it out in the 3D view just for fun. So let's go here into level one, uh, go to uh, 3D views, go to camera, kind of go here in the corner, open that up. And as you can see, this is what we get. So if I just select one of these, 
this is the this is the ceiling that we get so this is this cool uh, ceiling that we can create uh, now here we might want to adjust the angle of these I guess if we go to edit boundary this angle should probably be smaller so if I try 20 degrees okay getting there let's try 19 so you want to kind of play around a little bit to get the uh, to get that to look exactly right so let's try this there we go, we're close enough, but you get the point. You have to play around a little bit with these, uh, but in the end, uh, you can create cool uh, kind of chambered ceilings such as this one. Uh, but the main idea is you can you can play around, create uh, unique sloped ceilings by using the defined slope option. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Tell me in the comment section below have you found this useful? Uh, did you know about uh, did you know about sloped ceilings before, or have you uh, learned about it first time now? Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in some uh, courses, check out my website BalkanArctic.com. Also, there you can find my template, and of course, you can find all of my Revit project files, like this file here, as well as all of my other files over 400 files so far on my Patreon page. That's going to be the second link in the description. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.